Alright, he's gonna play his little video. All right, we are live. I am your host, Bishop Ross Jackson, and I am here with uh, Kyle Sefcik. That's right. Got it right. You got okay. it right, brother. Outstanding. The spelling's tough, so yeah. for him to pronounce it right <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> I was, I've been pr practicing that for about a half an hour, <laughs> but we are here today. Uh, Kyle is, believe it or not, he's a candidate for governor for right. the state of Maryland, that's right. an unaffiliated candidate, yes, sir. Um, and that's what makes him unique. Uh, but we're going to find out more about Kyle and his campaign and what, uh, what really called, and I'll, I'll start with that question, Kyle. What really prompted you or called you to, to run for governor? Yeah, state. I'd be happy to answer that. Uh, first, uh, my name is Kyle Stepchik, you guys. Like he said, I'm the unaffiliated candidate. I belong to no party. I just, overall, I just don't believe parties are the answer right now. I see a lot of, you know, just split and just life overall, even between, even with Christians and church. It's just, right. it's causing a, a huge divide in our, in our world and our lives right now. And uh, I'll answer that question in one second, but I just want to let you guys know who I am. I'm a father of two little boys. They're five and seven. I'm married to a beautiful woman from Brazil who's currently pregnant with our third child. I'm a small business owner. I actually fight professionally in something called MMA. So if you guys watch the UFC or Shogun or Bellator, I actually own a small gym in Damascus, Maryland. So uh, I went pro in 2011 and God bless wow. me and I was able to open up a small gym, just a small gym, just enough to survive. Yeah. I also have a, ni a nonprofit called the K&K &K Foundation where we do the Lord's work. We just go serve as many people as we can. We're not a huge nonprofit. We just find something local in, in, in Montgomery County, Frederick, Carroll County, Howard County, wherever, and we go serve people just like wow. a church would. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just like you guys do. That's awesome. So uh, that's kind of a little bit of my background. And uh, what what got me to run? Why am I running for a political position, especially as someone who does not enjoy politics and is not the biggest fan of our government? Right. I'll tell you, it, it, in 2020, early 2020, when COVID hit, yeah, I had other human beings coming to my place of business, telling me that me and my children could not be in my own place, my own building. Wow trying to survive and create money uh, the only way we survive right that was a huge red flag and on top of that i have nothing against people that wear masks and stuff but i had a problem with people trying to make my children wear masks i'm not right. judging anybody who chooses one or the other just like i don't judge anybody who chooses to take the vaccine or not that's a personal choice right but right. i had a problem when, when when people were kind of forcing me to do things i didn't feel comfortable with and as somebody who is all in with Jesus Christ, brother. All in. Yeah. I just felt something was off, and God just kept putting on my heart, Kyle, I want you to run for governor. Kyle, what, what? That's like a huge position. That's a huge <laughs> position. I'm 35 yeah. years old. What do you mean? He goes, Kyle, just trust me. And anybody who knows the Lord, when God puts something on your heart and you yeah. just listen, no matter what all the other outside things are telling you, no, not to do what God's saying, when you listen to the Lord, he does so much more than you ever expected. Absolutely. And now a year and a half later of this run, I see what God has been doing in my life. Does wow. that make sense? Like the connections with people like yourself and your audience, but just going around and campaigning, but truly seeing who's really about the Lord and serving our community yeah. and who isn't. And I have found that as we hear in politics, it, the, the devil is in there, you guys, and it truly is that messed up. And I feel like at least I'm going to try to do something. I'm going to, I, I want to be that man to go in there and truly serve. And most importantly, speak the name of Jesus. Right. There's no leadership. We don't have leadership speaking no. the name of Jesus. And we wonder why our world is falling apart and, yeah. and so dramatically and so drastically. Nobody is listening to God, nobody is following the Bible. And I, I know we are, brother, but sure. I'm saying overall, we're seeing people fall farther and farther apart from the word. And I just want to get in there, no matter how much hate I get, no matter how much people start talking bad about me or gossiping or slander, I'm still going to speak the name of Jesus publicly in yeah. everything that I do. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Do you see, do you notice that that seems to be like taboo um, mm. out there with politicians? They'll, Correct. They'll get close to it. They'll yep. get, they'll dance all around you know, and they'll say God this and God that, but they will not directly mention the name of Jesus Christ. When the time's right, you'll see these politicians on both so sides say, God bless. And all of a sudden there's Christians like, oh, he said, God bless. I, that must be the guy for me. And they're, they're not, they're, they don't have the word. They don't have the spirit. They right. don't, man. And trust me, I, I've met these other candidates. And if I truly believe that one of them was, you know, 
Christ focus, I would put my support behind them and, and, and help right. them. Make sense? Exactly. But I haven't seen that in any of these politicians, brother. Wow. And I know that our leadership, as we know, it needs to be, we need to have the power of God back in our schools, in our jobs, in our decisions, in everything that we do. People keep saying things like, oh, the separation of church and state, keep God out of, no, we need no, God in everything. No, no. And I will, do, I will give my life to, to do what is right for the yeah. Lord. Does that make sense? So that that's makes absolute. At. But uh, 100% with what you said, you're absolutely yeah. right. It's like taboo. It's like, it's very fake. Right. It's very fake right. with politicians. Right. They'll show up to a church, but then the next time they're, they're, they're a totally different religion and praising that religion. <laughs> Wherever serious. they are, right? right? They, they're like chameleons. They, it's, bro, because it is, as we know about politics, it's about the, they need the, they, they'll do anything for those votes and popularity and, and money. And unfortunately, yeah. as we know in the Bible, that's, that's the root of things that, you know, are evil. So let's say God did, um, I would call it almost a miracle and, and, and really granted, you know, your heart's desire. Mm. To be, and, and I do feel that it is to get into that office yes, and actually um, bring um, faith and bring trust in Jesus Christ into the governor. Imagine that, the governor. Imagine mansion. that, brother. <laughs> Imagine the head of the state of Maryland, the wow. head person. Yeah. A true Christian. Wow. A true follower of Jesus. And every decision he makes wow. goes according to the Bible yeah. and the Constitution. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine that. It, it, it's crazy to think about. Isn't that how it's supposed to be? Yeah. Shouldn't we be making every decision based on the Lord's word, no Absolutely. matter what excuses you can make about this and that, but this and that. It, it, all the things that I do in my life, it, it, I go to the word with my, my money decisions, right. with how I'm raising my children, with how right. I treat my wife, with how I treat anybody. Exactly. Exactly. My decisions are rooted in the Bible, and I've seen the fruit from it. Yeah. And I know that's what the state needs, and that's why I'm doing this. Let alone the world. Let's be honest. The yeah, whole world we'll needs this. start somewhere, though. But right? I've had it, per, for some reason, just specifically the state, God wants me to do as best as I can to at least do something in the state to prepare for what's coming. I mean, we wow. know revelations. We know the, how the, how the story ends. Absolutely. So I want to do as much as we can now to, one, save as many people as we can. Let's have people hear the word of Jesus. As much. Exactly. Let's get those souls and let's, let's see them in heaven. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it, 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 that, that's where I'm at. I feel like it's a preparation wow. thing as well. You know, you know, some people, and you mentioned separated, separation of church and state, and they, they misinterpret what yes. that means, right? And so they think that we're not supposed to engage with the, with the uh, community and we're not supposed to be in office, but we're supposed to sit back and let ungodly people direct us and govern us. Um, but, you know, I am so uh, glad that somebody at least is stepping up and saying, no, 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 no. God wants us to be the salt and the light. Correct. Um, and it seems like you're heading in that direction. Yes, sir. Um, so tell me. Uh, when you interact with these other politicians, um, how do they treat you? How do they, do they treat you as equal or less? Or? So on it, I'll, I'll be straight up. They're, they're very good at, they know that they need to always look the part and act the part. So okay. it's never like, they're like, yeah, yeah. They you know what I'm saying? When it's face to face, they're, they're real, they're, they're, they're cool. They'll shake my hand. They'll talk. And I, both sides have actually said, Kyle, I really wish there was a way to get you on our side. Like they, they've mentioned that, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. They won't fully say it publicly, but in, in person, they yeah. have had, we've had these conversations. Sure, they want and when they see and they talk to me, just as I talk to you and, and, the, and the people we have here, I know Christ is in them. Right. I see the power. I know who's real and who's not. And I know that they feel that and see that with me. And it, it could be intimidating for people that aren't in Christ and truly right. aren't making the right decisions. Right. So they will you know, be cool with me in person, Plus right. the fact that they know I'm an MMA fighter, so you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but when it comes outside of that, they do do the the, the evil things, the negative talks, the sure. slander, the gossip, sure. the lies, sure. and it has happened along this road. And it does hurt, to be honest. But I yeah. knew what I was getting into, and instead of me doing it back, I turn the other cheek and I stay focused on what God told me to do. Stay called? focused. <laughs> it, devil's going to try to drag you away with all types of stuff. Kyle, you don't have the money they do. Kyle, you don't have the popularity. Kyle, you don't have the votes. You have to be a write-in. And we'll get to that in a second. Oh, uh, Kyle, yeah. they're saying this. You should come back with it. No, 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 no. Stay focused. <laughs> stay focused. Keep stay preaching the, core. the name of Jesus. Yeah. Keep God at the front. Kyle, relax. I got you. And that, that, wow. that's where I'm at right now, man. Wow. You mentioned the write-in. Let's, let's go there because we, we don't have a lot of time. But yeah. So if someone wanted to vote for Kyle, yes. right, uh, how would they do about doing that? Yeah, so right now there is early voting. 
okay. right? It's early voting. Early voting has begun, so people can actually go to their polls now and start voting. Okay. Voting day is November 8th. That's the uh, official day. Okay. It should only be one day, but they started doing the early voting. Yeah. doesn't matter. <laughs> early voting has begun. So because I'm unaffiliated and I belong to no party, they're not allowing me to be on the ballot. Although I did the same exact process, the same exact process as these other candidates, maybe even doing more. Right. They won't let me on the ballot because I don't play that game. I don't belong to a party that they all control. Does that make sense? Yeah. No matter what, they have millions of dollars in their bank account, and they can all play with that money and do what they want and have their name lifted up. I'm this unaffiliated guy (laughs) with, you know, running with my family and and, and my Christian fellows that just want to help, you know, lift me up. It's not like I am up. I can't play that game. Right. So they are making me be a write in. And that means you guys have to go. And when you get that that ballot, they will have the Republicans name. They will have the Democrats name. They will have the Libertarians name. They will have the Green Party's name. And then it will say the words right in and a line. And that's where you write in my name, Kyle Sepchik. Isn't it crazy that they will put a bubble, the words right in and a line, but they can't put my name. Mm, Even though my. I've done the same process, it's designed. This what you hear about politics coming from somebody, guys, just a 35-year-old father, small business owner. Yeah. Isn't it crazy? I, how it's designed. I'm telling you, as someone who's in the gubernatorial election and has done this for a year and a half of candidacy. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's, 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 it might be even worse than you guys can imagine. How they try to keep us type of people, especially Christians, Christian, yeah. out of this race, especially small business owners, especially people that don't play the politics game. Right. So I am a write-in. I, as you said, it could be in some type of miracle for a write-in to win because it really, really never happens. Right. And I am the only unaffiliated governor in the country. In the right? country. Because people see what they have to do, and then Dude. they get halfway into it. They're like, man, I can't do this, and they're out. Right. All the stuff I had to do to be in this election, yeah. it was a lot of work, you guys, but I did it. Wow. I did it. God wow. put it that, 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 that hard in me, the power in me, and I'm here telling you guys that you can write my name in, wow. Kyle Sepchik, and we could, we, could, we could get God back at this state. So in seven days, we could take back the power and uh, put it back in God's hands where it belongs. And, you know, um, it's just really, um, it's really amazing to me how born-again believers can follow someone who's not a born-again believer and, and desires that, that someone govern over them and, and, mm. and influence their life in such a, such a way. A governor is really the most powerful elected official I believe there is. I mean, that a state could have. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Correct. You're 100 percent. And and Bishop, it it feels so good to hear you saying the things you are, man. I I could definitely tell you're all with Christ because I I, I, I think the same things. How Jesus wouldn't be choosing parties. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Jesus wouldn't be choosing Republican or Democrat. It would. We're so we're we're getting farther away from what life is supposed to be about and connection and relationships are supposed to be in our community. Exactly. Does that make sense? Exactly. So yeah, I don't understand how people can, as Christians, can follow people that aren't in Christ. I I, I don't understand it. And I'm not trying to say, you, you got you stupid. We're not saying that. It's just, Mm -mm. it's really hurt. It's really hard to understand that. Yeah. And I just pray that those of you that are truly, just please pray about who you should vote for and look really deep into where someone's heart is when you're voting. You know what I'm saying? That, that's really, yeah. it. I'm yeah. not, I'm nothing special. It's not, I'm Kyle Sepchik up here. I'm the most special guy. Vote for me. I'm going to save the world. It's not like that. I just know what God has told me and what I'm supposed to say and do. Exactly. And I just want to put Jesus back at the front of our state because we're going to watch the rest of the states collapse and get worse and more evil. And I just want to at least show that this state is a stronghold for families and community. And we're going to have some special things. God is going to work some special things in our state. If I'm elected governor, I promise you. Wow. And, and you know, I, I used to say I never met a politician that I liked, <laughs> but, uh, but that has just changed today oh, because I, I feel your heart, uh, and I know that, that God has really called you in, uh, for a time such as this. Thank you. And, um, you know, again, he can do, God can do anything. Mm-hmm. He, is, mm-hmm. he is, over my, the course of my ministry, I've seen God do so many miraculous things imagine, and things that we 
counted people out or we thought mm -hmm. they were going to pass away or we thought this was going to happen or we were going to lose that. Yes, sir. And God will step in at that last minute and do something that just blows your mind. Mm. So I'm, we're going to pray. Um, um, the brother that came in the studio a minute ago said, you, you know what, now I got something to pray about. <laughs> yeah, and he so did. We do. We do. Um, and um, I just want you to know as we, we, we got to wind down, I think we're winding down uh, to the end of the segment, but this has been a very unique segment in that, you know, you don't usually have politics and religion mixed together, mm, right? You're, you're absolutely right. But you know what, Kyle, I'm, I'm convinced now more than ever that we as believers need to be running for county councilman. We yes. need to be running for governor. We need to be running for president of the school board. We need to um, be in those places and those positions where we have influence over what the, the county does, what the state does, yes. what the nation does, yes. right? And, and God needs, to, he needs for us to do that. I really do Amen. believe that. 100% brother. And, and we're seeing, as you just said, you know, in our schools, Oh, and the decisions goodness. made for, you know, county decisions, not just schools, but the, 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 the county, oh. the state, and as you said, federal. We need those of you that have maybe just a, an inkling in your heart right now, like, you know what, maybe I should step up for a position. Maybe in the future, the elections to come, maybe you, sh maybe you should do that. Because we need Christ followers back because we're just watching the world fall away faster than ever. Oh, yeah. Faster than ever. Warp speed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As Christians, it's comfortable because we know where we're going when it all ends. I mean, we're seeing, you know, the, the story play out exactly how God wrote it. <laughs> right. But we still need to do our part and fight till the very end and, and tell the, the, as many people as possible about Christ before our time is up. Yeah. And most importantly, lead by example. Isn't that Lead something? by example. So I yeah. appreciate you and what you've done. Yeah. And we need good leadership and, and at so many levels. So, um, Kyle, this has been a, just an awesome segment today. It's an honor um, to be here. I want to invite you back yeah. after the election, yes, all right? And we'll talk about how you won. No, we'll talk, <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it. No either matter way, what. No either matter way, what. Either way. Because this is a conversation that has to continue. Yes, sir. We can't let it stop here. Yes, sir. Because, and I know that you're, you're, you're going to keep pressing because the Lord is not going to let you. I'm a fighter, man. Yeah. I'm a fighter, you know? And That's I, right. I'm going to be used. I'm going to, the Lord's using me in his way. That's yeah. all I ask. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Do, do, uh, we'll make sure that Patrick gets a hold of you. We get you back on here. We do that. In the military, we call it an after action review, mm, right? I like that. We, we, we do that after action review. We talk about um, what went on yes, sir. Um, with the elections. I wish we had more time today, but. Um, Brother, we're going to be talking a lot more. And just for your viewers, real fast, don't feel bad if for some reason I lose the election. Because no matter what, if I win, great, I win the election. But even if I lose, I have done what God has asked me yeah, to do. And I have spoken more about Jesus than I ever have to more people than I ever have because of the platform I now have. Yeah. So don't feel bad. I'm going to keep pushing no matter what. And we're going to keep connecting the body of Christ and doing the Lord's work and getting yeah. it done. All right. There it is. You heard it straight from the man's <laughs> mouth. Uh, Kyle, again, we applaud your, you, what you're doing. Um, it's so unique. This message that, you, that you're putting out there, also unique. You. Your candidacy yes, is sir. unique, unaffiliated, no, nobody, not bought and sold by not at all. Can anyone. I say one more thing? Go ahead. What he just said. There, I, I am not friends with any politicians. I owe no, I have, I know, no, I have no corporate, look at, you know what I'm saying? Look at yeah. my campaign finance reports. I have no, I, I owe nobody nothing. <laughs> I have I no it. connections like that at all. I just want to serve the people for real and set the example how it should be. That's so if awesome. you guys can go and vote Kyle Sefchik right in, right under the governor, there's going to be a write-in spot, put in my name, and, and, and that's, all, that's all I ask, and, I'm, and we're going to try to get the state back. Get there, get a pen, write it in, right? Write it in. That, that rhymed, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it did. All right, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. We'll be back next time. We'll meet again yes. at the altar, Ooh. and we'll talk about it. Sir. Thank you. All right, bro. Nice, awesome. Brother.